outdoor lighting. It's an essential but misunderstood component of our landscape design. Amanda Flaherty is someone who understands the qualities that light can bring to a landscape. She spent the past two decades illuminating outdoor spaces with a sensibility that allows her clients to discover the beauty hidden in their gardens at night. If you create an interesting space outside with your planting and with garden features, the lighting can help bring that to life. So it's like looking at a painting. It really brings out beauty in the garden and depth that they might not see there during the day. You know, you've created a real atmosphere out there. It's inviting. How do you help your clients decide what they want from their outdoor lighting? I speak about viewpoints in their homes and viewpoints from inside is very important. Look out the windows, try and visualise what you would like to see from those viewpoints. And they might say to me, oh yeah, okay, I can see. I can see where lighting can really help me go past the boundary of my walls into my boundaries of my property. So do outdoor lighting designers have a particular style? Look, my particular style is moonlighting. I really like lighting coming from above, coming past your eyes. I think it's very soft. It looks natural. It gives you a lot of play with the movement and um, shadowing and textures. Like the wind in trees, you get a shimmer happening and you can do that also with placing lights in the pool. Tell me about the custom made lanterns for this property. We created um, bespoke lanterns and features. We didn't want it all to look the same. There are a lot of lanterns that have got the same style, but we did different sizing. We do a lot of custom work. Creating something new and different for clients is uh, something that's really close to my heart. There's the practical component to lighting our exterior landscapes, but it's important to look beyond this purely functional aspect to truly bring our outdoor spaces to life after dark.